Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, it does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Listen, Morgan, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought they would shoot me, not you. What happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. You never showed up. No. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time, I, I, I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself. That'll teach me.
Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Ready when you are. Time to go, boy. Okay, follow me. Anyway, what was you talking about? I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellers a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. And mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Karen Vanderlint is gonna spit. Are you giving up on me all? Ready? What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. 
You we hope for some to. Fishing? You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Don't tell me you changed your mind. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with... Uh, you know, well, we might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Cast one in then, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but... I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Nope, not the big one. Let's keep trying. See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this.
Bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure, go on, I'll see you later.
Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well... Lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You can rest now, boy. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh. I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the graves. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
it'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Yep. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No! Away then. Meet me back at the crossroads. You're acting mighty suspicious, my friend.
Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I have your card. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell.
nest for one. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board and their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs>
I'll get the front. You take the back. Are finished. None of these bastards gonna walk out of here. Shit. Real heavy over here. Yeah. 
thinking the crap. This might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. Oh, so much for you. What damn? No, we ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. Oh, we always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? You see Bill anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. This is some damn posse to graze rounding up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. You graze must be even dumber than I thought. See that? Those cowards running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you, a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Shit. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out! How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. <laughs>